All right, we are back. We have hit case number two of this three case break. Welcome back to all of you who are joining us from the first case. And uh, welcome in for the first time if you didn't hang out with us in the last case. Absolutely insanity is what I can say for this product. It's right up there with Sterling on the amount of cool stuff that comes out of here. Yes, yeah, shake it up. Good luck to you as well. Looking for some hits for you. Come on. There we go. So if we can get three cases that were as good as that first case, then uh, we're all going to be doing pretty well. We're all going to be pretty, pretty happy. Uh, you know what? Let's start left side this time. Let me move these around. Let's see if we can change up things. Just to make it different. All right. Yeah, that Otani to five, we're, we're all admiring it. <laughs> uh, don't hit your trash can too hard. Remember, if you just hit a double and not a walk-off, no one would be suspicious. But uh, we'll, we'll take a home run for you, Mark, if we can get one. I'm surprised too, yeah, that we didn't see like Bregman and Altuve. All we saw was uh, what a Jordan Alvarez was pretty much the only guy, and a little Kyle Tucker. So hopefully we can get some of those other spots on the board for you as well. It's not just about getting the Astros or the Brewers. You've got to get the right Astros or Brewers. I mean, unless you did get everybody on the checklist, then you're pretty much guaranteeing you're going to get something. Uh, 237 here on the West Coast. So 537 out there for you East Coasters. Let's get into it. Let's see some more goodies. Some more good stuff. Gabriel Moreno, Tatis. First hits going to, wow, Austin Meadows. Austin Meadows spot getting on the board. 289 out of 399 on these signature swatches. For the Austin Meadows spot, nice to get you something. Yes. Yes, Jake, all three. Oh, nice. We got some Jordan Walker on the uh, parallel. Nice Jordan Walker on the copper. Yeah. And that other one you see over there in the corner, that's case number three. Uh, by the shirts over there. I grab the cases early in the morning, bring them all up here. I have to pick the lucky ones for everybody. So, yeah, that'll be the last case over there that breaks next. Our first canvas collection is going to be a rookie of Nolan Gorman. We'll check the back of that in a minute after we look at the hit. And we've got an upside down primary pieces going to Logan Webb. We haven't seen anything on the web spot. Nice quad relic, 58 of 99. And behind him, a nice number to 50 Ichiro. Ichiro spot getting a little something going on the red border parallel. See, there you go. That's that's how, that's what a quad pack, you know, have, have some color variation, you know, that's cool. I dig that. And let's check this Nolan Gorman and see. Nope, unfortunately, just the reproduction, but I love it. I love the canvas collection cards. I think they're fantastic. Going out to the Gorman spot. Yeah, whenever we do the listings, when it comes to these big uh, case breaks, um, whatever we put in the title is like three case, five case, then all the cases will be the same break for all the auctions that end that one. I think this is the first Adley Rutschman base card we've seen. Bo Bichette. And the first Alex Bregman, Bo Bichette. So we must have gotten different correlation in this uh, case, which might be good. Oh, oh upside down. Upside down. Oh my! What? No way! 
Lou Pinella auto? That is sick. I still remember him for his tirade, kicking the base and all the dirt. When was he with the Cincinnati Reds as their manager? Or the Mariners? Lou Pinella auto to 50. Congratulations out to the Pinella spot. That is super cool. And an Alvarez on this um, bronze parallel. All right, I can dig some Lou Pinella auto action. He's still got a good SIG, too. He's got to be, like, close to his 80s by now. Frankie Alvarez, Hank Aaron, Acuna, and our last hit of this, Mitch Keller to 50. Nice, on the patch, 34 of 50 for the Mitch Keller spot. And there we go, nice Tristan Casas, number to 299 for the Casas spot. Something you don't see every day, a Lee Pinella auto. Oh, cut it. There we go. The seal is mightier than the knife. Okay, he is here. I was going to say, he, I know he's up there by now. Still got a great Sid for 80 years old, though, man. A lot of times, you know, when they start getting uh, a little bit older and the hand starts to shake a little bit, so, I mean, very nice indeed. He's still got a sweet signature. Shohei Base. Kodai Senga base. Yeah, see, these are all new base cards that we haven't seen from the entire first case. And our first hit. There you go. There's some Astros. I see I talked about Altuve. Bang, bang. Get that trash can going. I knew eventually he'd show up. 95 and 99 on the quad primary pieces game used mem for the Altuve spot. And a nice Jimenez on the bronze parallel. Is that one of your dudes right there, Mark? Did we finally... Ooh, that's a super, super thick card. Ooh, what is that? I'm going to pull this parallel. Ooh, hoo, hoo, nice Altman to 99 right there. James Altman purple to 99. Going out to the Altman spot. I had to get everything out of the way for this super thick card back here. Uh, no. Um, we have had a bit of a problem with delivery and stuff with Definitive, so I don't know if we're going to actually be getting any. Not 100% sure. This looks like it's something cool. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, is this a 101? Ooh, ooh, what is this? What is this? I think I see a back barrel. Which way is it going? I want to get it the right way. We got... Oh! Mark? Could this be one of your guys? Bagwell? Oh! Is this... Please tell me this is one of your guys. Wayne. Please tell me this is one of your guys right here. Wow! Or Mark, sorry. Jeff Bagwell, four of five on the Bat Barrel Auto. Wow. Look at that. Autographed Jumbo Lumber Bat Relic Card. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mark. I knew there was something different with this card. I don't know if I can even fit this in a sleeve, but I'm going to try it first. If not, we're just going to load it straight into um, one of our plastic little cases with the... Oh, no, it fits. 
it fits. Phenomenal hit. See, there's something like just crazy in all this product. Jeff Bagwell spot hitting one out of the park on the 405. Jumbo Lumber Auto. That is a sick card, man. Congratulations on that one. Wow, 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 wow. That's what gets you excited when you see a super thick card like that. You're like, I don't think that's your standard relic piece. We got Anthony Rizzo starting off this pack. Mookie Betts and our Canvas Collection, Hank Aaron. It's a pretty iconic photo right there. And behind him, meaning, Meaningful Materials. Oh, oh, look at that patch. Look at that patch for Ozzy Albies. Man, look at that three-color patch in there. That's a nice, thick, chunky one. Nine out of ten for the Albies spot. Very nice hit and rookie Gunner on the bronze parallel for the Gunner spot. Very nice Gunner parallel. I think we did see an Ozzy Albies relic earlier. Adding to it, that one's a good one too. Nice three color swatch in there. And let's check this canvas collection. It is of the reproduction sort, so nice Hank Aaron on that. Gunner Parallel. And then over here we got Piazza, Ozzy Smith, DeGrom, and this is going to be blue to 20. Looks like it's upside down. On the auto, Reese Hoskins, another Philly jumping in the pool. 10 out of 20 for the Reese Hoskins spot. Congratulations. I think he put his number in there too. Is that 17, 14? And behind him, a Luis Arias on the parallel to 299. Very nice for the Reese Hoskins spot here. Out of 20. Very nice indeed. Great box. That's a good, that's how you start it off. Bags to five. I remember watching that dude in that crouched little position he had. He was another one of those guys that you didn't think he would be able to hit that many home runs until later in his year when he, you know, bulked up a little bit. <clears throat> Well, maybe we can pull you something nutty on Biggio besides that uh, relic you got earlier. Maybe we can pull you something uh, even cooler on him. Hopefully. I want them to start putting glove relic autos, you know, like uh, the Rawlings gloves, you know, their actual fielding gloves. Uh, if, if we have the product, Alan, absolutely. Uh, I know that we're going to do some more uh, team mixers with it. Um, I'm not sure if we have any more big player breaks on the horizon. Because the batting gloves are, uh, I, I don't know, I just want to see that big leather chunk in there. Plus, I believe batting gloves have been used before. I haven't seen too much stuff with uh, their actual fielding glove. Ooh, there you go. Andres Jimenez to 399 on the signature swatches. 
We saw one of his teammates, Jose Ramirez, in the last case. This time, Andres Jimenez. And there's a nice Nolan Ryan on the bronze parallel. Just so you get that really thick card, you know, because it's got a big thick uh, glove piece in it. Just something different. I know, I know, right? That was the era where everybody was doing it. So, I mean, ooh, there's some Altuve to 150. Nice parallel for the Altuve spot. Yeah, that that com era is completely. Um, I don't think anybody is safe except for maybe Griffey, because Griffey. Well, I don't think any of us believe that he did anything because he was pretty much the same size his entire career. Josh Young. And then, ooh, I, oh, there we go. Another quad patch. Jose Ramirez, Rafael Devers, Austin Riley, and Nolan Arenado to 75 on the quad relic. This will be another one that we'll end uh, random at the end of the day. So those four spots, congratulations. Good luck to you. Very nice card indeed. Uh, to be honest, though, I mean, it made baseball fun again. It was right after the strike when the, the home... I still remember the home run chase with Sosa and McGuire, and I was like... I was old enough to understand at that time, mm -hmm. too, but I was like, I don't care. It's fun. It makes the game fun, so... Canvas collection, Bobby Witt Jr. on this canvas collection. And he's hiding our auto... Auto rookie Tyler Freeman. So definitely a Cleveland Guardians box right here. 299, one, uh, 041 out of 299 on the rookie auto for the Tyler Freeman spot. Congratulations. And let's check this canvas card. Make sure that it's uh, not a one of one. Okay, just the repo. And then a. Bob Gibson on the copper. <laughs> right. Nice Devers to 299, 74 of 299. Matty McLean rookie. And a canvas collection. Ooh, and it's an artist proof. For the Randy Arena spot, that's going to be numbered to 50. Meaningful materials. Wow, Ozzy Albies again. So we're uh, working on the uh, rainbow of this for you. And a completely different patch, which is nice. This is out of 25 on this Ozzy Albies. So we got the out of 10. Now the out of 25 for the Albies spot. Congrats. And we'll check what number that Arena is. Numbered 12 out of 50 on the Arena Artist Proof Canvas Collection. Super thin pack. I'm wondering if we got a redemption in here. No, but are we missing a hit? Canvas collection of Yoshida, and yeah, there's no uh, no auto, no relic, so maybe it's in one of those. But nice gunner to 99. 
very nice parallel on the Gunnar Henderson spot. We'll check this Yoshida. That is a reproduction out of 50. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, the, the one argument that I always had, because I understood both sides, was number one, it might make you stronger, it might make you faster, but it doesn't help your eyes see the ball better. That is the honest to God's truth. In my opinion, bronze of Joey Votto, Bobby Miller, Lindor, Correa, and our hit in this. Ooh, there we go, Tory Hunter. One of my favorite all-time angels right there. Still the greatest smile in baseball. Tory Hunter to 299. Very nice. Yeah, I was like, your eyes don't get better from juicing. <laughs> so you still got to see the ball, you still got to react to the ball, and you still have to make contact with the ball. So that was always my piece in the whole thing. Pete Alonzo base, Tristan Casas. Oh, oh, we got another quad relic right there, and that's a good one for the Royals. Bobby Witt Jr., Hunter Dozier, George Brett, and Salvador Perez. That is numbered to 99. That's 8 out of 99 on that quad relic right there. So we'll get that one set aside for the overall random at the end of the break. Very nice indeed. Congratulations to all those players. And a uh, Rafi Devers on the copper. All right. Where's our hit? Okay, so it's in here. So, yeah, we got two hits in there. That's good. We got Verlander on the base. Zach Neto. Here's our first hit. Manny Machado spot with a nice meaningful material blue to 20. Nice swatch in there. And behind him, we've got rookie to, does that say 153? <laughs> it does. One, 121 out of 153. That is the strangest numbering I've ever seen. Riley Green getting on the board again. We hit some uh, Riley um, redemption in the first that is so weird. 121 out of 153 on the Riley Green. I guess they had exactly 153 stickers. So Riley Green spot. Getting some more heat. Congratulations. And a Tim Anderson out of 299. Very nice thick swatch in there. Yeah, I know, right? You're like 153. But hey, I guess it's better than having 155 of them. You're, it's too short a print, right? <laughs> so you can say it's a short print now. But yeah, 153. Maybe they just misstamped it. It should be like 150 or 175 or something. Because that would be the strangest numbering I've ever seen. Maybe that's where the number started on stopped on the print, like uh, on the uh, the machine. It's like, nope, 153. I'm done. I'm taking a break. I'm not stamping any more cards today. That's all you get out of me. Oh, oh, super thick pack, but then a super thin pack. So I think uh, we're gonna be missing one hit in one pack, and it's gonna be in the extra one. Oh, had me going for an, I want to see a live book. That is definitely my one hope in this break is that I get to open up one of those books. I've never experienced it. That's on my bucket list. I really want to pull a live one for, oh, is that, oh, we got another redemption, redemption. Let's see what this parallel is behind the redemption. 
rookie and Brett Beatty parallel to 99 on the purple. We got Bo Bichette base, Alex Bregman, and Francisco Alvarez. Or did I just talk another book into existence? Got some Dale Murphy hopefully for you coming in. You are due to receive, ooh, a framed auto. Silver parallel, that was to 15 of, wow, have yourself a break. You got a framed auto, you got an auto book. Wow, Miguel Cabrera spot. Having a heck of a day. That's going to be numbered to, so you're going to have a number to 15 or less and a number to 25 or less. Congratulations, Cabrera spot. Yeah, looking for some Dale Murphy I'm, for you there, Travis. Hopefully we can see at least one. Yeah, see here we're missing a hit in this pack. So it's going to be in that last pack. Byron Buxton, Adley Rutschman. Oh, there's a nice Riley Green right there on the canvas collection. Ooh, JT. Oh, my God. Look at that patch. Look at those quad patches. That's sick. And with the blue, is that uh, the Father's Day? Because that's the only time Philly has blue in its uh, patches, right? It's during fa the Father's Day game. JT Real Muto to 10. There you go. We got you an auto, and we got you a super, super nice quad patch relic number to 10. That is a nice one right there. What a, this was a great, like, master box. Bryce Harper on the bronze. And we'll double check the Riley Green. It is the reproduction. We'll move on that over here. We, we are still searching, Chris, for Volpe or Judge. But this pack's going to have two hits in it. Dude, Schneider. Oh, we got another canvas collection. Is this one going to be numbered? It is not numbered. Ronald Acuna will double check. Ooh, oh, oh, come on, put ink on it. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. But that's a nice low-numbered. Meaningful Material Adley Rutschman, Rookie Patch, 2 out of 15. Ben, you're, you're welcome. Congratulations on that Otani. It is absolutely nasty. It's a filthy card. Nice Adley right here to 15. And it's game used, so that's good. And then our last hit of this box, I see blue out of 20. Oof. Ooh, let me let me see a big name. Let me see a big name. Woo, that's big enough for me. Vladdy Jr. to 20 on the dual swatch auto. Very nice. I like the blue. Nice color match on this one. Here, let me get some sleeves going. Very nice for the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. spot. Getting that auto and dual. But, but too blue. I mean, it is the kind of got the whole blue thing going. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And sick Adley right here. On the purple. That's a beaut. That is a beaut. And Yvonne Grissom on that copper. And let's just check this Acuna and make sure. See if it's something special or not. Uh, canvas collection reproduction. So just one of the base variations of it, but a nice card nonetheless. That was a heck of a box right there. Miggy Auto, Vladdy Auto, Rutschman Relic, JT. I think everything was low number too. <laughs> Your free agent. <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of moving around, man. Got rid of a lot of payroll, which makes you wonder, are they going for the biggest fish? Are they going to try for an Otani push? I don't know. 
Imagine Otani in the Atlanta Braves lineup. Oh my goodness. Because who was their DH? Wasn't it like Eddie Rosario or somebody? So it's like somebody they could like really replace with a, a bat that good. That'd just be so scary. Yeah, that was a that was a killer box. Your two relic cards are out of 15 and 10. And, oh, there's another biggie pack, but then that one's super thick. <laughs> they did that a lot in this. So I would be weary, guys, if you go to your LCS of buying packs of this, buy the pack. Because I'm seeing now three boxes in a row where you're getting one pack with no hit in it. And then one with two. So just be on the lookout. Like, I probably wouldn't buy loose packs of this just because there's a higher chance. of getting no hit in your pack. Tucker, Grisham, Harper, and a nice rookie Peraza to $2.99. So yeah, if you spent whatever a pack is, probably 80 bucks, 75 bucks on one of these and got no hit, like would they give you another one? A-Rod, Yoshida, Peraza, and our first hit of this box, Shane McClanahan to 75. That's the first thing we've seen for the McClanahan spot, so congratulations. There we go. A nice numbered Nolan Gorman. So we're getting some numbered stuff in this box. Very nice. On the McClanahan. I, I know. I'm just really good if we hit like five good hits in a case, like in the in the reality in my mind. Number, ooh, is that to 10? Uh-oh, that looks like an, oh, is this going to be an old-timey, like a Sandy Koufax auto? No, no, but it is, oh, nice, Steve Garvey for the Dodgers, one of the all-time great Dodgers right there. 26 out of 50 on the Garvey auto. And behind him, we got a nice Tom Seaver on the copper parallel. Yeah, I saw the Dodger hat, and I was like, that looks like an old picture. <laughs> Congrats, Garvey Spot. There you go, getting you some ink. And the last pack should have two hits. One auto, one relic. At least that's what the hope is. Yep, I see two cards in there. Scherzer base. J-Rod, I see that's the first base we've seen on J-Rod. There's a Goldschmidt. We got something numbered to 35. Lodolo on the Meaningful Material uh, Bronze to 35. And our auto to 50 on the signature swatches. Blake Snell, I think that's the second one we've seen for the Snell spot. He's making a reappearance. Congratulations, Snell spot. Got a nice, uh, this has got a pinstripe in there too, so technically it's a three color patch. <laughs> 44 out of 50 for the snail spot. And uh, Sandy Alcantara on the bronze parallel. Some Prince Fielder action. There you go. Nice on the Nick Lodolo to 35. Let's see some Brew Crew. Let's see some Volpe. Let's see some Judge. I love pulling their stuff. God, I don't think I've pulled anything on Judge in any break so far. I pulled Otani, Trout, I mean, every Angel player. I haven't pulled much for Yankees. Uh, Mariano Rivera pulled him. I'm trying to think, maybe I'm not a Yankee magnet. All right, I'm going to try to get at least one for you. Come on. At least one for the, for the gentleman in the back row. Reese Hoskins. Nimmo, we got a canvas collection, another for the kid, for Griffey. And he is hiding a 
Okay, so it's going to be signature swatches. Those look like they could be Phillies colors. No, it's Senior. Vladdy Senior. We pulled your son earlier in this case. Now here you are out of 25. Going out to the Vladimir Guerrero Senior in his Texas outfit. Nice little bat relic in there. And he is hiding a Miguel Vargas to 150 on the blue parallel. Nice little team color match there. Very nice on the senior Hall of Famer, Vladimir Guerrero. And let's make sure this Griffey Canvas Collection reproduction. I'm still searching for a one of one for somebody. Some Nolan Jones, some Rockies action. You haven't seen a whole lot for them. Usually you see Larry Walker and stuff like that. Uh, every one of the patches in here is supposed to be game worn. Uh, Palin. On the front of the card, they all say game worn, uh, game used material. There's some Yelly. And he is hiding a Hunter Brown rookie to 25. There he goes. That's what I'm talking about. Three different colors in that quad swatch right there. Four out of 25 on the Hunter Brown Rookie Game Used Memorabilia card. They'll all say uh, not from any specific game or event, but they all say Game Used down here. And behind him, an A-Rod on the bronze. So nice Hunter Brown Rookie Game Used material. Very nice. Oh, you got Snell, Palin? Oh, that's right. You get a lot of the Padres. Machado, Junior, Yuri Perez, and out of 299. So this is going to be an auto. Key. Jorge Posada. Okay, so I'm starting to pull Yankees now. All right. Jorge Posada spot out of 299. Very nice. 222 out of two, lucky number two. Triple two out of 299 for the Posada spot. And a Mookie bets to 299 behind him. So that was a good pack. You are welcome, indeed. Zach Grinky, Springer, Bob Gibson, Meaningful Material Bronze, Steven Strasburg. That sucked, man. 33 out of 35 on the Strasburg Meaningful Material Game Used Memorabilia. Congrats to the Strasburg spot. And a bronze, Jeremy Pena. A guy that I remember watching his debut, man, and him striking out, I think it was 15 people. And like how electric the stadium and the feeling was. Back, I think it was what, 2012, 2011, when he had his debut. And it was like, ah, oh, it was one of those moments, you know, where everybody was just glued to their TV. And sad to see him have to retire at such an early age because of the health issues, man. So, uh, nasty stuff, too. Nasty, nasty stuff. Coercion to get that pack to open up. Zach Neto, Devers, Alonzo, and Juan Soto. That's the first thing we've seen for Soto, yeah. Like the dark and the light right there on the camo. 74 out of 75 
for the Juan Soto spot. And this also is game used. Pretty much everything in here is going to be game used material, which is great. Peraza on the bronze parallel. Well, good morning to you too, Dana from Shanghai. How has the morning begun out there for you? Good weather, Mookie, Reese, Canvas Collection. Uh, I think that's Posada. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Jorge Posada. We'll check the back of it. We got a rookie to 399. Matthew Libertor spot getting on the board with a nice dual relic signature swatches. 313 out of 399 for the Libertor spot. Very nice indeed. And Acuna on the bronze. And then, no, it's Nestor Cortez. There you go, there's some nasty Nestor. Nasty Nestor Cortez right there on the canvas collection card. There you go. Was hoping for that uh, to be a numbered one for you. Maybe the next one. And at least he got a ring, too, before he went out. DeGrom, Rizzo, another canvas collection. This one is, a, I know that's Devers. And behind him, who do we have? We got Jock Peterson on the blue to 20. Nice big thick swatch in there. And a Kodai Senga on the bronze parallel. We'll go getting the Jock Peterson spot something for you. 18 out of 20 on that game used patch. And let's see if the Devers is reproduction. So nice Rafi Devers on the canvas collection card. last pack of this box all right we've got Nimmo Pena Freeman and last hit Brandon Crawford 59 out of 75 on the quad relic game used material and hey another gunner to 99 so we may not have hit any ink on him but we're at least getting some uh, numbered parallels on the board for you Hopefully uh, we can change that. There we go, Brandon Crawford. Spot getting you a nice relic there. As I get older, I can think. <laughs> All right, so we've only seen what, like one, I want to say, super strong hit. Let's see a couple more. Come on. Come on, guys. We need a couple of other massive cards. Something that we can put, uh, put in the pictures later. That's what I need is some picture cards. Let's see some one-on-one -on -one action. That's what I'm talking about, Travis. Trying to get trying to get the one-on-one -on -one stuff to come out. Mikey Schwarber. All right. Oh, oh, we got another redemption. Redemption. That thing throws you off. I didn't even think there was an extra card. Where I was like, oh, we're missing a hit again. You uh, Darvish on the bronze parallel. And redemption time. Is it upside down? Yes, it is. Redemption of your due to receive single player signature swatches dual relic autograph. So that should be either to two ninety nine or three ninety nine from what I've seen. Of. Oh, Altman again. 
for the Outman spot. Put it on the board. Nice dual relic auto for the Outman spot. Congratulations. Getting a nice one right there. How about a one of one Murphy? Would that. <laughs> I think that would be acceptable, right? We'll just put both of them into one card, hopefully. Tristan Casas, Orias, Bobby Miller. It's going to be an auto. Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson spot getting on the board out of 299. That is number 84 out of 299 for the Tim Anderson spot. Very, very nice. Uh, just some parallels for the most part on uh, Verlander and Pena. Matt McClain to 99. There's a good one. Uh, no relics or autos so far. We have been light on those three. I don't even think I've seen any base on Brantley. So I don't know if he has base in this. Christian Yelich, Machado, Vladdy Jr., and our auto. Oh, yeah, there you go. Some poly. So we got three autos in this box. That's cool. Three autos instead of two autos and two relics. Poly to 199 for the Goldschmidt spot. Very nice indeed. See, like his auto is to 199, whereas Tim Anderson was to what? 299. So some of them are not as high numbered. Paul Goldschmidt auto. There you go. And Lindor on this parallel. Here, let me. I don't trust leaving them clean. Just make sure he gets into the sleeve now. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I know that the uh, base set checklist, I think, is only 100 cards, so there's not a lot of guys on it. But, like, when it comes to autos and relics, it's like, oh, Lord. A lot of guys on that list. Lindor, our canvas collection. I'll t I'll, you guys take a guess. Who is it? Because I'm not sure. Um, Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> Any clue? Springer. Is it Springer? Let's see if he's right. Woo, he nailed it. Chris with the good call. George Springer on the Canvas Collection card. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't see it. I was I was thinking like Kevin Kiermaier. I was like, nah, I don't know who that is. Very nice. And our hit. Max Muncy. Out of 20 for the Muncie spot on the Meaningful Materials. That's going to be 11 out of 20 for the Muncie spot. Congratulations. And a nice Zeke Tovar on the Bronze Parallel. Wrapping up that box. Sounds good, Brian. Hopefully you uh, don't jump up too loud and get too loud when I pull something good and when you see it in the recap. I'll be like, what's wrong with him? Why is he doing that at work? <laughs> they might think you forgot to take your meds. That's what they did to me. When I was at work and I would be watching a break, I'd start yelling or something because like, I pulled a good card and they'd all look at me like, are you okay, bro? And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, now I work somewhere to where if I do that, they know why. And they're accepting of it. Well, hopefully. There, Fletcher. Little Dominic Fletcher there. Matt Chapman and 12 out of 50. On this super thin bat relic for the Cody Bellinger spot. That's going to be 12 out of 50 for the Cody Bellinger. 
and a Wander on the Bronze Parallel. Corbin Burns, Turner, Pujols, Canvas Collection. There we go. Nice Corbin Carroll on this Canvas Collection. And behind him, we got some ink. Some ink. Is he going to follow himself? Nice. Hall of Fame ink. Raleigh Fingers to 299 The Stash. And he's still got a great auto as well. For the Raleigh Finger Spot, congratulations, 178 out of 299 on that auto. And a bronze Freddie Freeman. Let's make sure that this, the Canvas Collection reproduction on the Corbin Carroll. But very nice. That And that looks good. Like that's probably one of the best artist renderings that you'll ever see of Corbin Carroll. Xander, Riley Green, Perez, Kyle Tucker, 20 of 20 bookend on the blue primary pieces, quad relic, we got a little bat in there, and then three white napkins, but 20 of 20 on this card, there you go, Kyle Tucker spot, it's because they, they have time on their hands is what I think it is, Travis, hey, a nice Zach, numbered Zach Neto. There we go. Out of 299 for the Neto spot. You know, when they're retired and they don't have to uh, play the game anymore, they have time to, like, take their time and, and put a good signature on the cards. John Carlo. Well, there's a Volpe rookie, and I see a rookie logo on this. Rookie logo to 99. Oh, there we go. Let's see one of the big boys coming out to play now. Jordan Walker on the Signature Swatches Dual Relic to 99 Auto. There we go. Starting to see some of the bigger rookies. That's what I'm talking about. Jordan Walker. Let's see, but if this is the base version of this card, there's only 99 of them. So that really makes me wonder how short printed the bigger name guys are because a lot of the other ones are $2.99, $3.99 in this particular form. I don't believe this is a parallel, so uh, hopefully we don't see low numbering on all the bigger name guys. But nonetheless, Jordan Walker to 99. That's a beaut. Congratulations to the Walker spot. Glad we put some on the board for you. And then Cabrera showing up with another parallel, this time on the bronze. Two more boxes left in this second case. So some good autos in here too. A lot of Hall of Fame guys. Just saw that big Jordan Walker. Um, who else was in here? Vladimir Guerrero, Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Uh, and Jr. I mean overall. Very, very, very nice collection of autographs to pull out of here. But uh, no unicorn. We haven't even seen a base relic card. In the last case, we had two of them. One was an auto, and one of them was just the uh, Nolan Arenado. So. Did we just get real lucky in the first two cases? There's another on the Luis Arias for the canvas collection and behind him. Wait, we just saw one. Let's get a second one. Double dose of the Kyle Tucker quad relic. This one is 98 out of 99. And behind him, there you go. Some Nolan Ryan action. Number to 299 on the Nolan Ryan parallel. That uh, He might be in another case, sports stuff. I haven't seen a whole lot of Atlanta, period. We saw, what, one Michael Harris auto so far? 
check this canvas collection and reproduction. I haven't seen a whole lot on the land at all. A lot of saw Riley, Riley Green on the uh, patch card. Oh, we got Jordan Walker base in this pack eventually. Please come out of there. There you go. So nice. Got his auto. And there's a base. And we got Griffey, Mullins, and our auto behind Mullins. Oh, we got a rookie. We're going to see another big name. Max Meyer, first thing for the Meyer spot. Out of 199 on this auto. Congratulations to the Meyer spot. Some nice ink to 199 right there. And Outman on the bronze parallel. We just pulled his auto. Wander, Dansby, Outman again, and to 50, Roger Clemens on the game used material to 50. Going to be 32 out of 50 right there for in his Yankee gear. And a Brett Beatty to 99. There we go. Nice, nice low number parallel for the Beatty spot. And last pack of this box. This feels super thick. Do we have... So it looks like we have an extra hit. Right? Or did they just pack all over to... Joey Votto. Miguel Vargas. Nice, another Brett Beatty on the canvas collection. And then we got back-to-back -back hits. Meaningful materials out of, oops, which way do we go? Out of 25, there we go, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez spot with a nice out of 25 patch card. And then you see it, signature swatches. Oh, Blue Jays, Blue Jays. Alejandro Kirk out of 299. And Carlos Correa on the bronze parallel. Very nice though on the Alejandro Kirk. Hey, and you got two colors. Very nice, two colors. And Jordan with the game used out of 25, meaningful materials. And to check the canvas collection. Reproduction. And there we go. That brings us uh, nothing on Ozzy Smith. Unfortunately, Kane. I have not seen hide nor hair of Mr. Smith. I don't know if he's hanging out in this last box or this last case, but I have not noticed anything of relevance. No patches, no autos. So uh, hopefully we got something in here or in the next case for you. something for you right here on Ozzy or Dale Murphy or Chipper Jones. Let's see somebody we haven't seen. Actually, no, we haven't seen a lot of the same autos for guys. It must be a massive checklist of, of signers in this product. To go this many boxes and only have, I think, Blake Snell's the only guy that's doubled up offhand. Triple? Is this going to be a signature swatches? And that definitely looks like... Ooh, Frisco. I was going to say when I saw the orange... But then I saw that and was like, maybe it's the Giants. Logan Webb spot. That's going to be 287 out of 299 on the signature swatches. Auto. Oh, no, no. Wrong sleeve. That's the sleeve. Very nice for the Logan Webb spot. And a Cody Bellinger on the bronze.
Absolutely, Travis. Our pleasure. That's what we're here for. That's what we love to do. Thanks for uh, the pickups, man. Hopefully, we can uh, at least hit you hit you one in case number three. Ooh, Shohei on the canvas collection. And behind him, ooh, is that say to 15 on this auto? No. That's super low numbered. Come on. Come on. Oh, whoa. All this stuff for Braves, and you guys asking for Chipper, and what do I pull? I pull Greg. Greg Maddox, 15 of 15 on the purple. Looks like that's a purple border. Very nice. Greg Maddox spot getting on the board in a big way. Super low numbered bookend. Greg Maddox. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, any any Braves fans loves a good Maddox. There's an Aaron Judge on the parallel finally. And then let's see if this is a special Otani or just a repro. Just a repro, but great card nonetheless. I really want to see where he's going, man. <laughs> I'm so anxious as an Angels fan. Because part of me wants to see him go to the Dodgers with Trout just so I can watch those guys play in the postseason. I'd hate to lose both of them, but, man, would I love to see them succeed. Nolan Gorman, Brett Beatty, Fujinami, and this is green. What's that number two? I don't think I've seen anything that's green so far. Meaningful material. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 we finally, oh, so we know that green foil means one of one, ladies and gentlemen, one of one on the meaningful materials, let's see it, oh, man, I want this card, oh, that's so beautiful, in his angels gear, Tori Hunter, one of one, wow, That is disgusting. Got a nice little camo in there. So I'm assuming this is from Memorial Day. Oh my goodness. Tory Hunter spot. Congratulations. Super jelly. Super jelly right now, my man. Or woman. Gorgeous Tory Hunter 101. Oh. Oh man. That's a sick patch, too. I wonder what that is. Like his, I'm trying to think where that could be on the uniform. <laughs> it's not a button or anything, but it looks like it could be. The what? Oh, like on the inside? They, they have a sew behind it like that? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's sick. Very nice for the Tory Hunter spot. Get some ink and getting a one of one. Have yourself a great break. You get to see him in both of his uh, main uniforms, one in the Angels gear and one in the Twins gear with his auto. Francisco Lindor, that's going to be 89 out of 150 for the Lindor spot. So, Yeah, I mean, like, for me, it's personally awesome to pull this. Like, I love the... Tory Hunter is just one of my all-time favorite angels, man. Hey, you know what, though? He did get an auto in his Twins uniform. So, like, you get the best of both worlds if you're a fan of Tory Hunter in this in this break. I, I got to be honest with you. Like, this was a good break to have Tory Hunter if you're a Tory Hunter fan because, yeah, you got both outfits. I like that they did that. That is such a cool thing to put him in both, both of his jerseys, one for his auto and then one for his uh, relic. Last pack, last box, last hit. Nolan Gorman strikes again on the quad patch. And look at that, four different colors. I can dig it. Uh, probably not. 15 out of 75 on the Nolan Gorman. Four colors. You got like a cream, unless that's just dirty, which is quite possible. White, light blue, and red. And then, hey, some Dodger action on the last card on the Bobby Miller, number to 299. Very nice indeed. Sick Nolan Gorman, man. That's a good looking card. I love when it has different color patches and not just all red. That's a good one.
And that wraps up the second case. Yeah, that one of one. That's nasty, man. That's such a cool card. We're going to set up our recap for everybody. As always, we're going to go through our numbered cards, our autographs, our relics, and our auto relics. So um, stay tuned. Oh, man, a one of one in the last box. That was sick. And it was an angel, and it was Tory Hunter. Those are the kind of things that, like, make me enjoy this so much. It's not my card, but at least for a second, I got to hold it. You know what I mean? Although I do have, uh, I have an out of 15 Tory Hunter at home from, I think, Tribute. Triples, doubles, and some Okay. Is this all the autos? All the autos. Okay. So we got duels, triples, um, the big autos, well, bigger autos, and then just the regular autos. Yeah, I got a Tory Hunter that's a triple, like it says something from uh, Tribute or Triple Threads, and then he's got his autograph on the top, numbered to 15, and it's a PSA 10, so like that's my my rad Tory Hunter card. So our two biggies, Miguel Cabrera striking again in the in another case. Framed silver parallel autograph of Miguel Cabrera. That should be numbered to 15, I believe, right? It's 15, 10, and then five. For the, for the framed ones? Yeah. So this should be numbered to 15 on the Miguel Cabrera. And then uh, just a ridiculous Jeff Bagwell. Good God, four out of five, Bat Barrel Auto. I mean, this is a magnificent card. Congratulations to the Bagwell spot. That, that's such a cool card. See, they do have such really, really cool cards in this product, so I'm glad that they make it. Then our regular autos, we've got Greg Maddox to 15, Reese Hoskins to 20, Steve Garvey to 50, and Lou Pinella to 50. Then our higher numbered autos to 199, we've got Max Mayer, Paul Goldschmidt. To 299, we've got Raleigh Fingers, Tim Anderson, Jorge Posada, Tory Hunter. There's that auto. So this was definitely a Tory Hunter case. And Tyler Freeman. Yeah, so if you had Miguel Cabrera, if you had Tory Hunter, you are dancing for joy. I mean, there's a lot of spots that have already done very well. I'm not sure if price wise, price point for everybody, but like. Uh, lots of stuff coming here. Vladdy Guerrero Sr., numbered to 25 on the triple signature swatch. To two nine three ninety nine on this Austin Meadows triple signature swatch. And to two ninety nine this Logan Webb on the triple signature swatches. And then the dual swatches. Ooh, look at that. Welcome to the show, Mr. Walker. Glad that we could put one on the board for you. And low number two, number to 99 on the Jordan Walker. And then Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Can't go nowhere without his dad. Still. To 20 on the color match. Guerrero Jr. To 50. Nice Blake Smell. Smell. Oh my God. Blake Snell. And there you go right there. Game used memorabilia. So it's not going to be from any specific game or event. But it was game worn. So nice Blake Snell right there. And then we got Riley Green to 153. <laughs> Maybe they just misstamped it and it's supposed to be to 150. Because I don't think anybody would serial number something to 153. That just doesn't make any sense. And then we also hit an Outman on the dual relic autograph. Uh, not sure what the numbering is on that one. It could be 399, 299. Because it doesn't have a parallel on it. So we're not sure it's going to be the base version though. And then Alejandro Kirk to 299 on that dual swatch auto. As well, Andres Jimenez to 399. And Matthew Libertor also to 399. Yeah, 153. I, I, I don't get it. But yes, this, this product, it's. This is why it's a little pricey, though, for everybody, so they really get it. Like, there's not a lot of products where you have 
four game use patches of you know these kind of players. No, one fifty three, one five three. Makes no sense. So yeah, we'll do the quad relics. All Kansas City players, and this is number to ninety nine. Bobby Witt Jr., Hunter Dozier, Salvador Perez, and George Brett. And behind him, third baseman of the MLB, Jose Ramirez, Rafael Devers, Austin Riley, and Nolan Arenado. So, as I said before, at the end of the entire break, we, we, we will do one giant random to random off all of these multiplayer cards. So, uh, stay tuned for that. No, no, 450. Okay. Thanks, Mark. And let's see, here's our numbered cards, our canvas collection, and our regular. Are these the singles? Yeah, so those are the single patch cards. You know, let, let's do the numbered cards first, the numbered parallels. Ichiro to 50. Gunner to 99. Gunner to 99. Brett Beatty to 99. Oh, wow, we, do, we doubled up twice on this case. So Brett Beatty with two, Matt McClain, James Outman, and then our blues to 150, we got Lindor, Vargas, Altuve, and then yellow to 299, Casas, Arias, Anderson, Devers, Gorman, Peraza, Mookie, Zach Neto, Nolan Ryan, and Bobby Miller. Takes care of the numbered cards. Uh, canvas collections. Starting off with the artist proof. These are numbered to 50. Nice Randy Arena, And then the base ones, we've got Otani, Beatty, Arias, Carroll, Springer, Griffey, Devers, Cortez, uh, Acuna, Riley Green, Yoshida, Bobby, Hank Aaron, and Nolan Gorman. Yeah, we'll get started at the next one at 4.15. I'm going to take a little intermission to run around the block a little bit and loosen up the muscles. Our primary pieces, quad relics, lowest of which was a JT Real Muto, and that's like you got letters and you got all kinds of good stuff in here. 7 out of 10 on the JT Real Muto quad relic. Very nice on that one. Out of 20, we got Kyle Tucker. Out of 25, Hunter Brown. Out of 75, Juan Soto, Nolan Gorman, Brandon Crawford, Shane McClanahan, and then we get to 99, Kyle Tucker, Altuve, and Logan Webb. And finally, our single relics. Woo, we on the Emerald 101. Tory Hunnell, Tory Hunter, meaningful materials. Very nice indeed on that hit for the Tory Hunter spot. Congratulations again. Ozzy Albies to 10. Nice chunky patch in there. And an Adley to 15. So that I'm assuming that the blues would be sapphire, the purples, all those are uh, like gemstones in this on the parallels. Max Muncy to 20. Jock Peterson to 20. Manny Machado to 20. Jordan to 25, Albies to 25, Strasburg to 35, Lodolo to 35, Clemens to 50, Bellinger to 50, and finally Mitch Keller also to 50. So that wraps up the second case. A lot of good stuff in there as well. Uh, hopefully the third case turns out to be just as good as the first two. Juicy, fun, uh, very good product. So, uh, Hang out with us later for case number three, which goes live at 7.15 Eastern Time, 4.15 Pacific. Uh, you'll be hanging out with me one more time. Thanks for uh, 